Worrying can be helpful when it drives you into action and solves a problem. However, most times worry is a storage facility for what ifs and worst case scenarios. That's when worry becomes a real problem. Worry, doubts, and fear can be paralyzing and zap you of physical, mental, and emotional energy, sending your anxiety and stress levels through the roof. It's these same stress levels related to worrying that keep you awake at night, distract you during the day, and are the primary cause for major health issues that can be life-altering. The good news is chronic worrying is a behavior and like all behaviors with the proper attention, they can be altered and changed. So why is it so hard to stop worrying? Experts say that most chronic worriers believe that anxious thoughts are productive and serve an important purpose. They believe that worrying helps them avoid bad things from happening, solves problems, and prepares them for the worst case scenario. The technical term here is hogwash. All worry does is occupy and waste important energy that you need in other critical areas of your life. Unfortunately, it's not easy to break the worry habit. If, of course, you believe that worrying protects you, as many people do. In order to get the thought process under control, you must first give up the belief that worry serves an important purpose in your life and realize that worry is the problem, not the solution. Here are three easy tips to follow to help remove or, more importantly, gain control of your worry. Number one. Set an appointment with your worry. It's tough to be productive in life when worry dominates your thought process. I have said in recent podcasts, control your thoughts and you can change your life. However, it's not easy. The very exercise of not thinking about something at times makes the thought stronger and more persistent. Here's the answer. Don't remove it. Postpone it. Place it in a box and only open that box during one specified time of the day, the time of the day you designate as your worry period. During your worry period, you're allowed to worry. The rest of the day is a worry-free zone. If a thought or worry comes along as I'm positive it will, make a brief note of it and postpone it till your worry period. Postponing worry is effective because it breaks the habit of dwelling on the worry in the moment. You just save it for later. Number two, ask yourself if the problem you're worried about is solvable. Studies show that while you're worrying, you have a false sense of security. Worry distracts you from your emotions and fools you into thinking you're getting something accomplished. Fact is that worry and problem solving are two totally different behaviors. One is positive and the other is negative. Any idea which one is which? Problem solving assumes the problem is real. It involves evaluating a situation and identifying steps to deal with and solve the problem. Worry, on the other hand, rarely, if ever, leads to a solution. Start by asking yourself these questions. Am I currently facing this problem or is it a what if? If it's a what if, how likely is it to happen? And can you do something to prepare for it or is it out of your control? Productive, solvable problems are those you can take action on right away. I'm overweight. Solvable problem, yes. So many people get cancer today. What if I get it? Solvable problem? I don't think so. Sounds like nothing more than worry. If the problem is solvable, start making a list of solutions you can act on immediately. Of course, try not to get caught up on being perfect because solutions take time. Number three, accept uncertainty. The challenge of accepting uncertainty plays a large role in worry and in anxiety. Chronic worriers can't stand doubt and unpredictability. They need to know with certainty what's up ahead. 
Worry is seen as a strategy to prevent unpleasant surprises and control the outcome. The problem? It doesn't work. Ask yourself this question. Is it possible to be certain about everything that happens in your life? Thinking about all the things that could go wrong in your life doesn't make life more predictable. Focusing on worst case scenarios won't keep bad things from happening tomorrow. However, I guarantee it will keep you from enjoying the good things happening today. So if you want to stop worrying, start accepting uncertainty. In closing, remember worry is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but doesn't get you anywhere. In other words, water your dreams with worry and fear and you're destined to fail. Water them with optimism and solutions and your goals and dreams will be realized.